All right, Lori, Lori, Katie, I like it, Caroline, Harina, Laura, and Rega. All right, ready? It's Friday, we're gonna move our bodies, we're gonna warm up a little bit. We have done these things before, so we have this one big warm-up loop. It is not magical, but let's say you ran a mile on the treadmill or you did a two-mile bike. We're gonna have a somewhat durational one loop warm-up. When you're ready, we have done everything before. 10 stationary reverse lunges, big and slow on your 10 stationary reverse lunges lunges take your time you won't do them in the warm-up again today you have a choice of doing them later on today you'll see three two one and breathe and shake it we've done lots of things right ten total alternating stiff legged at us you will have a choice of doing singles or doubles later on but again, you're not gonna do it in your warm up again. Later on, you will have weights. Today is a two movement day, like we did last Friday. We just have different two movement exercises. In four, three, two, one. And breathe, take your time. We've done it before. Stationary forward lunges. And again, you might choose these later on. You'll see why and how. Big and slow. The idea of these warm ups, right? We sneak in a bunch of the leg exercises, but it's joint mobility, moving your joints, it's flexibility of muscles and all the muscles around those joints. And of course, you have the muscle activation. You got some heart, some lungs, some soul. Two, and one, and breathe. You got your lateral lunge. You won't do these again today. It's the stepping leg. It is the working leg on your stationary lateral lunge. I don't want you to think lateral squat. You can, but I want you to think about the rhythm of what a lunge is. Step and load. Not necessarily thinking about how low you have to go, but you want to load that leg in two and one and breathe. Again, okay, there's one big warm up loop. 10 on your narrow squats. Hips, hips, hips. Booty, booty, booty. We will be doing regular squats on our squat press circuit on our circuit one. But we have narrow squats and breathing, and four, three, two, one, and breathe. Shake it off, wide squats. Now, I know this is not the hardest thing in the world, but if your legs aren't burned a little bit, then I'm a little surprised. 10 wide squats. Narrow squats is all about mobility. Wide squats is all about flexibility. Don't get me wrong, there's some mobility there too. Four, three, two, one, breathe. We're gonna do our standing scissors, standing runners, Jack LaLanes, and then we're gonna get on the ground for a couple quick, actually no, we're gonna say those, never mind. Here we go, standing scissors, ready, set, go. Big and slow. We've taken a couple of our warm up routines, which are not magical, and just put it all together. Happy Friday, T-G-I-F, four, three, I'm going F, two, and one, and breathe, standing runners, runners, elbows, knees, ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and breathe, last one is your Jack LaLanes, ready, Go big and slow. It is not flop over, get up. It is rotation and functional movement and stretching and engaging and standing tall. In this world, the fitness world, what goes all the way up can consistently be able to go back down. 
people that get in trouble accidentally don't go all the way up. All right, breathe. The education of the day today. Two movement exercises are designed to maximize time, load, muscle, blah, 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 right? So we're gonna do a squat shoulder press circuit, right? No big deal, slow and big, in combination with some sort of an agility. So let's talk about the agility. Now today, this first circuit is supposed to be regular taps. If you have something low, I'm gonna use a medicine ball. You can use a chair, you can use a bench, you can use your dog, you can use your husband, Whatever it is, I want them in front of you, okay? Now, they're bench taps, not bench kicks, if you choose to have your dog or husband. You're welcome, Laura, right? You're welcome, they're bench taps. So, let's say it's low, like mine. It's gonna be quicker. And let's say it's high, like a bench. It's gonna be a little bit slower. So, maximize your time, maximize your energy, use your long legs, we have 50 revolutions. We'll eventually do them times three, okay? I know you're tired of me talking. The rhythm of the circuit. There's only three rounds. We did six rounds on yesterday and on, uh, what is it, Wednesday. So we have three rounds. It's gonna be the squat press. The number will change. We're gonna have our always 50 on our regular taps. And then we're gonna have uh, abs. We're literally gonna do nine different abs today, okay? There's no big deal. Nine times 40 is 360 reps. And there's 450 agilities. And then there's some legs and a, a body. All right, so yeah, squat and press, are you ready? 30 total movements or 15 revolutions. Now there are thrusters, which is what you create momentum with. Squat, press, you don't. Squat to press. And I wanna see the different movements. Ready, set, go. Squat to press. I don't want little, I want big. And of course, if you have a lot of weight, I want a lot of weight. If you don't have a lot of weight, maximize your motion. 30 total movements or 15 revolutions. Squat to press. Squat to press. Keep going, it's 30 total movements or 15 revolutions. Nice. Let's say you're around seven or eight revolutions. You're on six-ish more revolutions or 12 total movements. So you can either count each movement for 15 each. Katie, slow it down, those are thrusters. Slow it down, Katie. Slow it down, Katie, those are thrusters. I wanna see different motions. Good, Katie, slow those down. Those are thrusters. Squat to press. This is a thruster, right? I wanna separate the movements. You got about five more movements, give or take. Slow, separating the motion. Thrusters, you create power and momentum. Squat, press are two different movements. In three, two, one, and breathe. When you're ready, we're gonna do the 50 revolutions of taps. I wanna say higher is better, higher is harder. However, if you're too slow, it goes from a, an agility exercise to a plyometric. I wanna be in the agility, which is quicker. So I'm on a ball. You can use whatever you wanna use. 50 revolutions is 50, uh, and I only count the right foot. So one, two, three, four, five, but that's a low ball. Ready, set, go. If you have something higher, cool. If you have something lower, cool. It's tap, 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 tap. Not kick, not push. You are not kicking the ball or bench. You are tapping the ball or bench. And I dare one of you to grab your husband or significant other. <laughs> they are bench or ball taps. You are tapping the ball. We're gonna run in place later on. So definitely have a finite tap. And tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. Let's say you're around 35 revolutions. 38, 
40, 42, 44, right, give or take, and five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And remember, we have a diverse crew, right? I got my pregnant one who's about three, four weeks away. I got a couple moms out here. I got my uh, one year removed college uh, rower for uh, SMU, Division One college rower, short, little tiny thing, weak sauce, you know, that kind of thing. Love you. <laughs> when you're ready, you're not gonna do it again. 40 sit-ups. Ready, set, go. 40 sit-ups. Now, I do use the word sit-up. Everybody has a different height. If you can't go all the way up, cool. You're just not gonna hear me use the word crunch. Sit up as high as you can go. And Lori Snyder, I know you can handle 40. Lori Harris, I don't know you. If you can't get to 40, cool. Breathe and focus and work and know that you're not gonna do this again today. 40 sit-ups, breathe and work. Enjoy the motion. We have nine different ab cores, all 40. We have nine sets of 50 on our agility. Holy jeez. Our two movement lifts are gonna be basic. 30, 20, 10, I switch it. 30, 20, 10, I switch it. And three loops of 30, 20, 10. So today's meant to be a little hoppy, poppy, sweaty, worky. Yes, when we lift, we lift slow, we lift heavy, we do it right. Nice. 40 takes a while. In my world, 40 is about two plus minutes work, and that means you didn't take a break. Two and a half to three second reps, and if you round up that three second mark, 40 times three is 120 seconds, and there's your two minutes of work, which I hope kind of sounds familiar. Tuesday, you have a two minute work circuits. Our 50s the other day were about two minutes of work. Monday, we did 90 seconds of work times 30, 30 different 90 second exercises. So if you're, if you're excited about the week that happened, cool. I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds tops. It's okay if you're not there. When you get to your next exercise, it is 20 squat presses or 10 revolutions, whether you go heavier or not. Then you're gonna do your 50 on your taps again, and then we're gonna do a different ab. I'll meet you on the abs. Ready, set, go. Squat, press. I wanna see the different exercises. You are not creating momentum. You're not moving weight, you are lifting weight. Thrusters is a moving weight exercise. They're good for you. You should have more weight on thrusters because you're moving the weight. You're throwing the weight, figuratively speaking. Keep going, 20 total reps or 10 revolutions, please. After your 20 total movements or 10 revolutions, I'm not trying to get you to go faster, but when you're ready, you're on your 50 taps. So our taps don't change. And in some ways, they don't take that long. 50 revolutions on your taps. Tapping the ball or bench or dog. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. I have a small ball in front of me. You could have a taller bench. You could be pregnant. You could be 23 years old and post-college. You could be one of my lorries and probably doing this on the deck outside and enjoying the moment and doing glass of wine taps because that's how cute she is. Glass of wine taps. Keep going. Keep going. Tap, tap, tap. Keep going. Keep going. Remember, I'm full of bad jokes and horrible analogies. Keep working. Tap, 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 tap. I'm gonna say you're 40-ish, give or take. 
eight, six, roughly, four, give or take, plus or minus, two, and breathe. It's okay if you're not there yet. When you are ready, again, you're not gonna repeat any abs. You've got your 40 reverse crunches, and they're not called leg lifts. Reverse crunches, your legs start up. You let them fall, and you squeeze your abs. Whereas leg lifts come from the ground, and you bring them up. Although both are supposed to be abs, reverse crunches are more abs, less back. So find your stopping point. Your legs are moving because of your abs. You can have your legs perfectly straight. They can be slightly bent. You can cross your legs to take it out of your hips and back. Everybody is different. 40 reverse crunches. And if you need to stop at 32, stop at 32. Laura, I know you're gonna make adjustments that feel good, right? You're probably gonna repeat some things between your hip bridges, your slow, steady crunches, your obliques, mix in your obliques. We don't formally have obliques today. Make sure you're breathing on your legs moving because of your abs, reverse crunches. Remember, I'm not saying things to go faster. When you are done, you're gonna have your 10 squat presses, five revolutions. You'll have your last set of regular taps, and then we'll have a different ab. We have three of these style circuits, and it's all about rhythm. And as you guys are getting to know me, which most of you do, I do rhythm circuits. Everything has a balance, everything has a rhyme or reason. If you overthink, you get in trouble. If you're not done yet, cool. If you're done, go ahead and do your 10 squat presses or five revolutions slowly. Do your 50 taps, last regular taps, and then I'll show you the abs. Ready, there is no rush, set, and when you're ready, go. Five revolutions or 10 movements on your squat press. Big, steady, consistent, effective. It's only five revolutions or 10 total movements. And three, two, give or take. One, it's okay if you're just getting started. It doesn't take very long. When you are done with your 10 reps or five revolutions, you're on your 50 regular taps. Ready, set, go. Find something to lightly touch. Don't just run in place. Tap, 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 tap. Find something. Later on, we do have high knees and butt kicks. This first one, I wanted to have tap, 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 tap. Find that rhythm. Mm -hmm. You're tapping the bench, you're tapping a ball, you're tapping your significant other, you're using the dog, a cat, anything that will sit in place for 50 taps. Some of those things I said won't. Well, maybe. I tried my children earlier, but they didn't work out very well. Ah. Keep going, baby, it's Friday, it's work day, it's huffy puffy, sweaty, breathy. Let's say you got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, we'll be on the ground for abs, and five, four, three, two, and one. And breathe. You got your toe touches. We've done toe touches. You're shortening a shortened muscle. You don't have to literally touch your toes. I want you to just try to touch your toes with your body. I don't want your head, right? I don't want your neck. I want that body and I want you to breathe. Whether your legs are perfectly straight or slightly bent, you've got your 40 toe touches. Squeeze your abs. And again, if you've got to stop before 40, stop before 40. We have more to do. We are not done yet. 
You have your 40 toe touches. I'm going to grab a quick sip of water because then we're on to our next circuit. Three circuits, same rhythm, numbers, different exercises. Keep working, keep breathing. You're trying your best to touch your toes. You don't have to literally touch your toes. You're just really trying to touch your toes. Ten-ish, nine-ish. If you're done, grab a sip of water and stretch. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. As you're getting your sip of water, I want to talk about your next circuit. We did squat presses. The next circuit is stiff legged deadlifts and rows. It'll be stretch, 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 row. And again, I'm going to show you when you get there. You can either do both legs or you can alternate your legs, but I do want the double row in your low position. I'm going to remind you when you get there, right? That will be your 30, 20, 10. When you get to your agility, it's supposed to be lateral taps. I do want to talk about a lateral step, right? One, two, three would be great. If you have a bench or chair or riser, just be careful. I'm not going to step on the ball completely, but you step up and then over one, right? If you need to do lateral steps on something, it's going to be big, slow reps. It, it, if it's low, I want you to do lateral taps. One, two, three. So if it's low, I want you to try to do the taps. If it's high and you want to do lateral steps, you can, but that will be a slow rep. So there is a difference, okay? When you get to your abs, we're gonna keep changing them. So it's the same rhythm. Are you ready? Here we go. This is your stiff-legged row. You can do both legs or single legs. It's 30 total movements. Stretch, posture, stretch, posture, row. That is two reps or one revolution. So it's 30 total movements or it's 15 revolutions. Currently I'm doing a double leg or both legs stiff-legged. You could call them RDLs as well. That is actually a little different technically. Or you can do a single leg. I just want the double row. So if you want to focus on a slower, more balancing exercise, you can do your single leg. Or you can do your double leg and squeeze it all. It's posture, stretch, posture, stretch, row, you're not creating momentum. 30 total movements or 15 revolutions. And let's say you just did your 20th movement or 10 revolution because this is slower, give or take. You've got six-ish more movements, give or take. Four-ish more movements plus or minus two more movements. It's okay if you have a couple more. I'm gonna lower a smidge. Stiff legged deadlift rows take a while. Squat and press is a little smaller motion. And breathe, when you're done, breathe. Again, you can do lateral steps if it's high. Get a high bench or box or chair or if you're scared to the lateral taps. I get it. Here is a lateral tap again. It's 50 revolutions if you're tapping. It's 50 steps if you're stepping. Ready, set, go. One, two, lateral motion. Lateral taps. Good. Katie, less stepping. Less stepping. You're gonna switch. One. All you do is switch. Two, three, Good, lateral taps if it's low. If you have something higher to step up on, that's a different story, right? I want something high if you're gonna step. Keep going, 50 revolutions. It's 50 each side and there's a certain rhythm, 
And remember, mentally, some people don't hop or jump, and this kind of gives you that feeling. But I want you to be safe as you do the lateral tap and you're switching sides. I know it's hard. Let's say you've got eight more revolutions, roughly, right? Seven-ish more revolutions. Six more revolutions. And five, this is different. You'll get the rhythm down. Your mindset is you're barely on the ground and you're barely on the bench or ball. It's hard to barely be on those things. And two, roughly, one, roughly, I know we all have a different number. When you're ready, you're back on the ground. We did sit-ups, no more. We did reverse crunches, no more. We did toe touches, no more. V-ups would be awesome, but not mandatory. V as in victory is a sit-up and reverse crunch. If you're new with me, you can do a couple sit-ups and a couple reverse crunches. 40 V-ups. If you need to do sit-ups and reverse crunches again, please do. 40 V-ups. Big and slow and methodical and challenging. That is the idea. After the 40 V-ups, you're back up off the ground for the stiff-legged deadlift row. I'm not saying that for you to go faster. We have a bunch of different skill sets and abilities and uh, weight potentials in the house here, so adjust to you a tiny bit. 40 big V-ups. Then you'll be back on your stiff-legged deadlift row. And work, and work, and work. Let's say you've got 10. Nine, no big deal. Eight, it's okay, we have a different number. Seven, six, you're working. Five, four, plus or minus. Three, I don't want to be discouraged. Two, one, and breathe. Ah, there is no rush. You're on your stiff-legged deadlift row. 20 total movements or 10 revolutions. Some people rhythmically like counting a revolution and some people have to count each movement. Everybody's different. Ready, set, go. You can either do both legs on your stiff leggeds or you can do your single legs on your stiff leggeds. And remember, I say stiff leggeds because those are the smoother version of RDLs. And for my client population, Stiff leggeds are the safer version. RDLs is Romanian deadlift, and that's in the powerlifting exercise world. So you need the weight associated for a power lift. And this is a smoother, more common, realistic. So stiff leggeds and Romanian deadlifts are the same thing. It's just the weight associated and the power that happens afterwards. Four more movements, roughly. Three more movements, roughly. It's 20 total movements or 10 revolutions. Two total movements, roughly. One. And breathe. It's okay if we have a different number. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not trying to make you in a hurry. When you are ready, you've got your lateral taps again. Remember, low is taps. Low is rhythm. If you need to, you can go high and step. Ready, set, go. One, remember all you do is switch. Two, three, and then mindset. Minimal time on the ground, minimal time on the ball. So you're barely using the ball or ground. You're tap, 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 tap. You're switch, 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 switch. I didn't say it was easy. I'm a horrible dancer. However, this is an agility exercise. It's agility and it doesn't have to be fast. Agile, to be agile has nothing to do with speed. It has everything to do with movement and trusting the movement. Guys, keep it going, keep it going. Tap, tap, tap. Remember, if it needs to be step, 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 it can. After your 50 lateral taps, you're back on the ground. 
breathe. Big, slow, big, slow. Work, work, work. Give about 20 more seconds just to recover and acclimatize. 50 lateral taps or the lateral steps based on leg length and ability and height of the tool you chose. Everybody is different. When you are ready, we're gonna do hip lifts, not leg lifts, not reverse crunches, not hip bridges. Your legs are up and then your legs go up because of your hips. So I don't want your legs moving. I want your legs to go up without creating momentum. It might only be a half an inch. It might be three inches, but I want your legs to go up. They don't go down in front of you. They don't create momentum. Your legs go up. So don't go forward and backwards. You go up with those hips and legs. You've got torque. You've got leverage. You've got shortening a shortened muscle. You've got flexibility of your posterior muscles. You've got mobility of your spine and hips, and then you have activation. And our legs and our buns are heavy, and your abs are trying to move your legs and buns. Again, it might be little, and it might be big. 40 hip lifts. Get those hips up. Get them up. Get them up. This is top one. Three, 10 roughly plus or minus, nine, give or take, eight, if this is hard, good, seven, if this is too easy, you're not challenging yourself. Notice I didn't say you're not going high enough. I want you to challenge yourself. And five, four, no rush, three, you're back off the ground for your last dip-legged row, two, one, I'm not gonna tell you this to go faster. You've got your 10 stiff legged row or five revolutions. You've got your 50 lateral taps and I'll meet you on the ground. Ready, set, go. Stretch, row. Get low, row. Get low, row. It's only five revolutions or 10 total movements. After your set is done, you're gonna do 50 lateral taps for the last time, and then a different ab. We're there, you guys, we're there. Let's do this thing, 50 lateral taps when you're ready. Remember, you are tapping, it's a finite movement. It's not kicking, it's not not tapping. Tap, 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 ready, set, go. Barely spend any time on the ground and barely spend any time on the box. That's the weird hard thing. It's an agility exercise. Agile. If you need to be doing steps and or it's higher, cool. You're stepping up and over and up and over. 50 on your lateral taps for the last time. One, another different ab, one more circuit to go. You guys thought I was gonna be nice today, I think. I think you're like, oh, it's been so nice. The Christmas is so nice today. No way. <laughs> Lori Harris, I'm sorry. It's your first time with me. I really am nice. Like. Well, I'm definitely gonna be sore over the weekend, so I'm glad this is my first time on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Lori, can, uh, Lori Snyder can help you with uh, ways to recover mentally and physically. <laughs> Keep working, baby. I know we're having around 35 revolutions, right? Give or take. You probably have about 13 revolutions, give or take. Let's say you got about 10 revolutions. Tap, tap, tap. It's your last time doing these. Eight-ish revolutions. When you are done, I'll meet you on the ground. Six. Length and fitness ability and skills and trust and three, two, 
one. It's weird I had my ceiling to trip on me. <laughs> weird. All right, no rush. We're on our sit up scissors. Now torque, leverage, breathing, breathing, breathing. You're gonna sit up to one leg and then you're gonna sit up to the other leg, but it's 40 total movements, not 40 revolutions. So it's 20 each leg and it's big and slow. And remember, if you can't sit all the way up, give me the sit up you can do to the single leg moving. 40 sit up scissors and or bigger, slower, smaller scissors, whatever you gotta do to get them done. And then we have one more circuit, same rhythm. That's why we did the one big warm up loop. We got right into this thing. You have about 12 more minutes to go, give or take. About 10-ish more, five each side. Breathe, you got about 30-ish seconds and we'll start that next circuit. Quick sip of water. As you're getting your sip of water, I'm gonna to talk to you about the next circuit. It's just ever so slightly different. It's still gonna be 30, 20, 10, 15 revolutions, if you will. However, it's lunge and curl, not lunge, curl, press. That's a three movement day. It's gonna be lunge, curl. However, you can do a stationary forward lunge, you can do a stationary reverse lunge. If you have room, you can do a walking forward lunge. You can do a walking backwards lunge. It's 30 total lunges, 15 each leg, but it's lunge and curl, 15 each leg, which means you're doing 30 curls, lunge and curl. Only count your legs either stationary forward lunge or stationary reverse lunge. If you have room, walking forward lunge or walking backwards lunge. The rhythm is lunge and then curl. It's not curl as you lunge. Lunge and then curl. Whether it's stationary forward or stationary reverse, or walking forward, mix them up. Take your time. You're on the home stretch. So in some ways, this is harder with the 30 curls, 20 curls, 10 curls, but lunge is a little different rhythm. The combo is similar, but a little different exercise. And we have a couple more different apps. So you're on the home stretch. After your 30 total lunge curls, I'm gonna say you have five more legs, four more legs, give or take. It depends on your leg length and your weight. Three more legs, two more legs roughly, one more leg, give or take. I'm just going rhythm in my head, people that I know. Alrighty, when you are done, high knees or butt kicks. Well, I'm not pregnant, but somebody here is, okay? I used to play football, but that was a long time ago, so everybody's different. Here is your high knees. One, two, three, excuse me. Here is your butt kicks. One, two, three. If you need to slow it down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it magical? No, it's agility. So pick it, mix it up. If it's quick, it's revolutions. If it's slow, it's reps. 50 total. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, right? You're getting them up. If it's running high knees or getting them back, if it's your running butt kicks. And if it needs to be slower, cool. Slow it down. 
We're not hopping. You're either driving in place or you're quicker or you're kicking your butt. No hopping. We've already done plenty of that. After your 50 butt kicks or high knees, you're back on the ground. And we're almost done, you guys. The learner round is almost done. The longest round is almost done. Two more rounds to go. I didn't say go faster. Nice. Again, if you're doing butt kicks, get your feet back. If you're doing high knees, get your knees up. And five-ish, four-ish. <laughs> and three, two, one. I always crack up at you guys. Eye rolls, whatevers. When you're ready, runners. Now we did standing runners in our warm up, laying on the ground, runners as elbows to knees, not knees to nose. Don't knee yourself with the nose. I like the bigger, slower version, so that's why we don't do bicycles. I just have a personal preference. Slow and big on your 40 runners. Cross that body. And if you've been with me for two full weeks, notice that we've done a lot of repetitive things, easy to combo with, choice of tools, the variety of skills and abilities. And I like to diversify sit ups, reverse crunches, toe touches, V ups, right? We do have stability ball abs. I have plenty of stability balls here, but not many people have a stability ball at home. We have jackknives here. We have hanging abs. There's lots of other tools we can use. However, we're at home and we're probably in our living room. Let's give it about eight, seven, six, five, roughly four, three. You'll be off the ground doing your lunge curl in two, and one, I didn't say go faster, 20 lunge curls, that's 10 each leg. Any lunge you want, here you go. Lunge and curl, it's big, it's steady. It's not a curling lunge. Two movement days, I want to see the two movements. You'll hear me say curling lunge, it's a smidge different rhythmically, potentially less weight. I want that load and I want that motion and I want that variety. Do you have a chance to have that variety? Again, 20 total, 10 each leg. Then you have your 50, whether you do high knees or butt kicks. And then we have a different ab. Yahoo. That's Friday enthusiasm right there. When you get your high knees, it's either running and revolutions, one, two, three, or it's bigger, slower reps, or it's butt kicks, one, two, three, or it's slower, one, two, three. To be agile doesn't mean fast. When I talked to my grandpa years and years ago, before he passed away, he, was just, he said he stopped moving. He stopped being agile, and then everything just crept up on him. I'm not saying this is gonna make us live longer, but when you move your body, good things happen. Joint mobility, muscle activation, flexibility. You can go in psychological, mentally feels good to move, to know that you can move. When you're done with your 50 high knees or butt kicks, you're on the ground for your swimmers, 40 swimmers. All right, here we go, 40 swimmers, either on your hands and knees or you're on your lane on your stomach. 40 slow swimmers. Big, deep breath. Again, here could be just finishing your butt kicks and high knees, that's okay. Big and slow on all of your stuff. Some of you did the running high knees revolutions, and some of you did not. Some of you did butt kicks. Everybody's a little different. Breathe. If you're on your swimmers, you can be on your hands and knees, 
or you can be laying on your stomach. 40 total. I don't want to use the word easy. It's not quite as big as a scissor. So swimmers is mobility and activation, and it's not the hardest thing in the world. And I don't want you to go any faster. After your 40 swimmers, you have your last lunge curl, 10 total, five each leg, last 50 agility, last different ab core. Voila. There's no rush. I want you to breathe and focus. I'm gonna say you've got about 10, give or take. It's okay if you wanna start your lunge curls. You got about eight-ish more. If you're still on the swimmers, you can do your last lunge curls for 10 total if you're ready for that. You've got your five, four, take your time. Three, if you're on your swimmers, two, one, and again, it's okay if you're not done yet, and it's okay if you're already on your lunge curls. You got your 10 lunge curls, five each leg, your last 50 on your agility, high knees or butt kicks, and one more different ab. Based on your leg length, the weight you chose, the space you have, desire, phase of life. There's so many reasons why we have different skill set and ability. Mm -hmm. Snyder, you know nothing about desire, right? The little one that rode on the varsity SMU team. So just a little, little tiny two, two dots. <laughs> I love it. If she was at the gym right now, she'd probably throw something at me. Harini, do you miss my jokes at six in the morning? Just calling you out, poking the bear. Lori, I miss our little 30 minute dates on Wednesday and Friday. 35 minute dates. Sorry, it's Lori Snyder, Lori here, sorry. Lori and I have a little, little connection, my little stud. Laura's crushing it, she always sends me a little text of all the wall sits she gets to do. <laughs> all right, ladies. Here we go, you're on your 50, if you didn't do them yet, high knees or butt kicks. When you are on your ab, if you are ready, you can choose the final 30. You can either do Russian twists, right? If you're on your buns, you could do windshield wipers, the lateral reverse crunch if you're on your back. And if you wanna do rotational planks again, you can do rotational planks again. We did them earlier this week. It's your last 30 if you're there. If you're not, finish off your 50 high knees or butt kicks. You've got your last 30, either Russian twist or windshield wipers. And you're gonna breathe. And you're gonna work. And you're gonna trust that motion. Breathe and work and trust that motion. That was a Friday. That was a lot of work. 450 agilities, 360 abs, 180 upper body, lower body, two movement reps, or two more exercises. Finish this thing. Make sure you drink lots of water, and of course, with the weather gorgeous today, go out for a little walk. Not gonna hurt you. Go row a boat, go ride a bike, go do something. Tomorrow is a little bit cooler and cloudier, but looks like next week's gonna be like this week. Just beautiful and gorgeous. Unfortunately, we can't take the kids to the park. Kind of a bummer. Unfortunately, the boat is still winterized. It has not been dewinterized yet. I'll get to that probably next month. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Make sure you finish off the 30 and you are done on your windshield wipers or Russian twist or rotational planks. T-G-I-F.